guys in this video we are going to create this ocean and the sun animation inside of hitfilm express it's also called the sunset animation and it's a pretty popular blender 3d tutorial so yeah let's see how to create this in hitfilm so the first thing we'll do is create a new comp and we're gonna call this main for the duration i'm gonna go for 10 seconds 19 20 10 80 60 fps and click on ok then I'm going to start off by creating our sun. So let's create a new play layer. I'm going to call this sun 90, 20, 10, 80, and uh, let's give it a white color. Click on OK. And then we're going to select our ellipse tool. You can click on this icon or you can just click and hold. Then you can, from this list, select any shape that you want. We're going to select our ellipse mask and just click and drag. And you can hold the shift key on the keyboard to create a perfect ellipse. And uh, with this mask selected and the selection tool selected, we can just put this in the center. Now create a new layer or we can just drag in this solid that we have in the media panel. Let's drag that in and rename this to water or you can type in ocean. And I'm going to make this 3D. Click on yes to add a camera. And then in the transform, we can just change the rotation X. And we can also, with the floor plane enabled, we can align our sun in the center. So let's go back to our mask. With the arrow keys, you can just change the position and put it in the center like so. Now, uh, let's put our ocean layer at the top. And uh, let's again go to transform and scale it up like that. And I can change its position as well. Let's bring it over here. All right, that looks good. Now I can create a separate composite shot for the ocean and the sun. I'm going to select the ocean layer first, right click and click on make composite shot and select this option, move it layer, click on OK. And do the same thing with the sun layer as well. So right click, make composite shot and select the second option, which is move it layer, click on OK. Now in the ocean comb, what we want to do is create our ocean, of course, then we'll go to effects and search for fractal noise and apply it on the plane layer over here i don't know it doesn't get selected but let's select it and apply it and let's animate the fractal noise so let's go to seed create a keyframe at the very first frame and go to the very end and change the seed to something like three i will have a simple animation now at the moment our ocean looks a bit flat there is no depth in it so in order to add some depth, we're going to add in a parallax effect. Let's apply it on the layer. And out of the bat, you can see that we have some depth generated in our scene. And this parallax effect essentially uses your white, gray, and the black colors to generate the depth. So white, you can see that there is no depth and the black ones are at the top and the gray ones are in the middle. So we can go to the parallax and change some settings. So the first thing we'll change is the blur height map. You can see that our waves are looking kind of pointy, kind of like a mountain. So in the blur height map, we'll just increase that to something like 12 or 13. And then let me just zoom out a little bit. And then we could just increase the depth, maybe something like that. All right, that is looking good. Add a new grade layer and we can rename this to waves and in the effects we'll search for the waves effect so apply it onto the layer and the first thing we will do is change the frequency set this to something like two and uh, the amplitude is set to 10 which is fine and if you play this you can see that there is some distortion at the top uh, if i just turn it off this is before with no distortion and if i enable it there is some distortion at the top but there is no animation so we'll just go to face speed and just increase this to something like 0 0.10 and now if you play this you'll see that your waves will start moving to the right if you want a bit more speed you can increase the face speed if you want more waves then you can change the frequency and make this like three and you'll have more waves now we can go back to our main comp this is what we have so far now we'll just create a new grade layer and I'm going to rename this to displacement. And in the effects, we'll search for the same effect, which is displacement. This one. And I'm just going to apply it on this grade layer. Expand the displacement and change the source layer. And I'm going to set the ocean composite shot. And from this list, I'm going to select luminance on both. So make sure these two are luminance. 
and I'm going to increase the horizontal and re reduce the vertical displacement. All right, so this is what you will end up with. You can turn off the ocean comp for now so that we see just the moon and the reflection going on. So this is how it is going to look. All right, so let's create a new grade layer and I'm going to rename this to reflection. I'm going to put this grade layer in between the ocean comp and the sun comp right over here. And in the effects, we're going to search for this same effect, which is reflection and apply on this grade layer. You can see whatever is beneath this grade layer, the effect will be applied to it. So in our case, it's the sun composite chart and it applied the reflection effect on this comp. All right, cool. Now we can turn on this ocean comp and we'll change the opacity and set this to around 20%. And this is how it is going to look. Let's uh, stylize our sun over here. So let's go to sun composite shot and we will apply the color gradient effect like so. And the first thing we'll do is change the opacity and set the blend to normal. And we can just place these points over here like so. And for some reason, it's not in the center. So let's just reset the position. All right, that is looking good. Now I can change the color. So I'm going to set the start color, which is set to black by default. I'm going to click on that and change the color. So let's go with, um, let's go with this pink color over here and let's make it a little bit darker. Click on OK. And you can choose the same color like so. And you can click on the end color. And now I can just make it a lighter shade of that color. Now let's create our starry background. So let's um, actually drag in this media over here, the solid layer, the plane layer. I'm going to rename this to stars. And let's go to effects and search for fractal noise. Apply it on the layer and change the preset. Set this to star field. Right, so we have this stars in the background and now let's animate these. So I'm going to go to transform and I'm going to create a simple rotation animation on this. So let's create a keyframe at the beginning, move to the end and set this to around 10. Pretty subtle animation. So, all right. So next thing we'll do is apply some glow. So let's search for glow and apply it on the sun layer. And let's increase or change the blend. I'm going to set this to add. And we can change some settings over here, such as the radius. And we can increase the intensity as well. And we can also change the threshold. And you can go to color gradient again. And if you want, you can just pull this down over here and just create a gradient like this or in any direction that you want. If you want, you can customize this. You can go to the sun and change its position and bring it a little bit down like so. Like that and go back to your main comp and you should see it over here in the center and you can um, pretty much um, change any settings that you want if you want to have a much faster wave animations in the ocean so you can go to your ocean comp and uh, we can just go to our fractal noise you can see that our last keyframe is set to three on the seed and we can change it to any value that you want so yeah you can do that and also you can go in the waves and uh, you can change some settings over here such as the angle and the displacement angle yeah so you can just play around with that as well lastly we can also create a sunrise or sunset effect so we can go to our composite chart move to the very first frame i'm going to create a sunset effect so i'm going to select my layer the sun layer and I'm going to go to position, create a keyframe on position. I'm going to go forward to seven seconds and change the position and bring it down somewhere over here. Let's go back to our main comp and you can play your animation and you can see that we have this nice sunset animation. So you can just invert this and you'll have a sunrise effect as well. So there you go. That's how easy it is to create this animation inside HitFilm. 
hope this video is helpful i hope you learned something new if you did then please make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one